Welcome to Global News Today. Please subscribe and check notification box to get all breaking news alert. 9.30 p.m. Several U.S. officials familiar with the investigation have told news sources that at this point there was no information indicating Ella was previously known to any American spy or law enforcement agency for any connection to militants or terrorism. An authoritative government source confirmed that Ella arrived in the U.S. seven years ago on a visa for applicants with family members already in the country. Ella is from the Bangladeshi city of Chittagong and is a U.S. resident, the country's police chief. He had no criminal record there and last visited Bangladesh on September 8, the chief said. Mr. Trump spokeswoman Sarah Sanders argued that the attack could have been prevented by tighter immigration rules. The president's policy has called for an end to chain migration. And if that had been in place, that would have prevented this individual from coming to the United States, she told the Daily White House briefing. So the president will aggressively continue to push forth responsible immigration reform. 9.27 p.m. The weapon was a pipe bomb that was attached to the suspect, police said New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo told CNN the explosive in the pipe ignited, but the pipe itself did not explode, so he wound up hurting himself, several others in the vicinity. He said the attacker obtained information on how to make a bomb from the internet. 8.53 p.m. A pro-Islamic state media group, Magdizi Media, portrayed the attempted terror attack as a response to us President Donald Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital last week, according to the site intelligence group which tracks and analyzes online activity by extremist groups. However, US network CNN reported that a lot told investigators he was motivated by recent Israeli actions in Gaza. Over the weekend, Israeli authorities said they had destroyed a tunnel between Gaza and Israel a blow to Hamas, the Palestinian militant group which controls the Gaza Strip. 5.12 p.m. A thorough background investigation into Akadala is being conducted by the Joint Terrorism Task Force, Commissioner O'Neill said. 3.11 p.m. The explosion took place opposite a corner shop owned by a Bangladeshi Muslim man, Harriet Alexander reports, from the scene. The people who do this have no religion, he said. They are just savages. He only learned of the incident when customers came in and told him he heard no explosion. It's sad, but it happens all over the world, in my country, in your country, here. That mosque attack in Egypt? Terrible, too? It's a fact of life now? 50 p.m. The device was a pipe bomb fixed to the bomber with hook and loop fastens and zip ties, officials said in a press conference. 2.47 p.m. Akadal is the 2-7-Y-E-A-R-O-L-D suspect, New York police said. The suspect was placed in custody and transferred to Bellevue Hospital. We are asking anyone with information about this individual to come forward, Police Commissioner James O'Neill said. The individual who carried the device had burns and lacerations to his hands and abdomen. 2.43 p.m. There are no additional known incidents at this time, no additional activities, said New York Mayor Bill de Blasio. The mayor told a press conference that the incident, which happened at the start of the city's rush hour, was an attempted terrorist attack. All we know is there was one individual who, thank God, was unsuccessful in his attempt, he said. Mr. De Blasio added a fuller investigation would follow, as New Yorkers our lives revolve around the subways, and we hear of an attack in the subways it is incredibly unsettling, de Blasio said. 2.39 p.m. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has praised the emergency services for their response. Everyone worked together. There was an explosion. It was an effectively low-tech device. There were several minor injuries, and it was handled extremely well. All bus services are being restored now, Mr. Cuomo said. This is one of our worst nightmares. This is New York. We are a target by many who would like to make a statement against freedom that makes us an international target. We understand that, he said. Anyone can go onto the internet. The counter reality is this is New York, and we keep our eyes open, and we have the best law enforcement in the world. We will go forward together. Let's go back to work. We are not going to allow them to disrupt us. 2.30 p.m. News of the incident jarred financial markets as trading was getting underway for the week. Standard Poor's 500 index m &E futures paired gains. The dollar weakened against the yen and U.S. Treasury securities prices gained on a modest flight as a Fetty bid. 2.15 p.m. Harriet Alexander is at the scene. She writes New York's police department has shut the normally chaotic 8th Avenue from Penn Station North for around 10 blocks. 
large black head out 4x4s are streaming and sirens blaring, with senior NIPT officials arriving on the scene. There is a huge police presence at the Port Authority terminal itself, with heavily armed police at the door and NIPT officers yelling at the curious onlookers not to stand in the road and take photos on their phones, blocking the influx of police cars. The explosion was in the middle of rush hour and yet many caught up in it seemed unaware, asking instead why they had been asked to get off the subway. 1.58 p.m. The suspected bomber is a 2-7-Y-E-A-R-O-L-D man, according to the former New York Police Commissioner Bill Bratton. 1.43 p.m. The male suspect had explosives strapped on when they exploded, law enforcement official told AP. Fire brigade crew wait at the scene after an explosion occurred at the Port Authority bus terminal in New York Credit Getty 1.36 p.m. The U.S. president has been briefed on the explosion in New York, the White House said. 1.32 p.m. Just one person has been injured in addition to the suspected bomber, CNN reported. The bomb went off prematurely and had been intended to cause far greater damage. 1.29 p.m. The bomb was reportedly found on a busy subway leading to three train lines, which suggests it was intended to be detonated in a train carriage. A still from a Winnie video showing police in Manhattan following reports of an explosion. 1.27 p.m. Former Nye Police Commissioner Bill Bratton has claimed the attack was inspired by a Zill.